Hello and welcome to another quick tech tip with the Bearded Tech Guy. In this video, we will be going over how to integrate SwitchBot directly with Amazon's Voice Assistant. This will allow for you to control your devices connected to a SwitchBot hub through your Echo. This will also allow for you to watch the live feed on the SwitchBot indoor camera and include the devices within automations, which I'll be going over as well in this video. Take note that you do need either the SwitchBot Hub Plus or the SwitchBot Hub Mini for this integration to work. You cannot connect SwitchBot devices directly to Amazon. To get started setting up the integration, you'll first need to go into the SwitchBot app and select the devices you want to be shared with cloud services. To do this, click on the cog for the device and then click on cloud service, and then toggle the selector to on. You'll want to make sure the setting is on for any device you want to be added to your voice assistant. If there is a device you don't want shared, you can turn off cloud service for that device. Next, open your Amazon Assistant app. We'll need to enable and set up the SwitchBot skill. To do this, click on more at the bottom right hand side of the screen and then click on skills. Next, click on the magnifying glass at the top right hand side of the screen and type in SwitchBot. After, click on SwitchBot to go to its skills page. Here you'll see some of the commands you'll be able to say to control your connected devices. Next, click on Enable to Use to be brought to a login prompt where you will need to enter in your SwitchBot credentials. With your username and password entered, you can click on Login. If you successfully logged in, you'll get a message saying so and you can click on Close to go back. After doing so, you'll have a new screen pop up offering to do Discover Devices. You must do this in order for the SwitchBot devices to be added. Clicking on Discover Devices can take a few moments to complete. Once done, you should see a list of devices that were added. It is also possible that the device discovery triggered on its own, so you may get a message like I did saying that nothing was found. Going back though shows new switches and cameras. And if I click on all devices, I can see all the SwitchBot devices that were added. If you are missing any devices, go back into the SwitchBot app and make sure that Share with Cloud Services is enabled for the devices you want. With SwitchBot and Amazon Voice Assistant integration, we can open and close curtains through SwitchBot Curtain, check the temperature of a room, or even view the live feed of a SwitchBot indoor camera. Show the indoor cam 8Z. Okay. You can also set up the SwitchBot indoor camera to be used with motion announcements. This will trigger your Amazon Assistant to make a verbal announcement when motion is detected. Motion detected at the indoor cam 8Z. To set up a routine, go into the More section on the Amazon Assistant app and click on Routines. Click on the plus sign at the top right hand corner to create a new routine. Here you can give the routine a name and set the trigger and actions for the routine. For this example, I'm going to have my office curtains open if my motion sensor in the office detects motion. But this will only happen between 8am and 8pm and I will set a cooldown timer for one hour after every event trigger so that way the curtain doesn't keep trying to open. First we will create the trigger. To do this, click on the plus sign next to when this happens, and then click on Smart Home on the new window that opens. Here you'll see a list of all the devices that I can use as triggers in my Smart Home with Amazon. As can be seen, the SwitchBot Contact Sensor, SwitchBot Indoor Camera, and SwitchBot Motion Sensor can be used as triggers. For this routine, I'm going to select my Motion Sensor. Next I'm going to switch the trigger to Detected, and then click on Next at the top right hand side of the screen. Next I'm going to click on Change, next to any time, and I'll set the routine to be able to run between 8am and 8pm every day. After, click on the drop down menu under Suppress 4 to set the duration of how long this routine can be triggered after being triggered. For this routine, I'm going to set it for 1 hour. After, click on Next at the top right hand side of the screen. Next click on the plus sign next to the action and scroll down to Smart Home. As can be seen, the SwitchBot curtains, bots, and indoor cameras can be used as actions. For this routine, I'm going to select the office curtains and make sure the mode is set to open. Clicking on Next will bring us back to the main routine page. If you did not set a name for your routine, one will be set automatically for you. You can change it now if you want to be more meaningful for you. Once all set, click on Save at the top right hand corner to be brought back to the main routine page. Let's now test out the automation to see how it works. Triggering the motion sensor within the trigger window causes the curtains to open and the motion sensor being triggered again within a one hour time frame after the initial trigger does not cause the routine to be triggered again. I would love to know about your home automation setup or how you plan to use your SwitchBot with an Amazon Voice Assistant, so make sure to let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you run into any problems, don't hesitate to ask.
If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up as it helps YouTube know that others should see it as well. And if you'd like to know when I release other smart home and tech related videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to be one of the first to know when I release a new video. Thank you for watching.